Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can make an inverted gear, which is just a gear, but the teeth are flipped around so they're facing inwards. Um, you'd use this type of gear for making a planetary gear, like the one here. Um, so the other teeth mesh in with this gear and they can spin around in a, in a circle. Um, the program I'm going to be using to do this is Inkscape, and it's really handy because it has an extension. Uh, called gears and it just cranks out whatever gears you want you just put in the number of teeth and the, the pitch um, say for this example where you wanted to make a planetary gear I would have made all of these gears with the extension like the, the sun and the planets and the ring but the ring would have been the other way around and I, I, I had to manually flip it inwards so this video is going to be showing you how to flip the gear inwards because there's not a whole lot of programs out there that can um, they can make inverted gears for planetary gears. All right, so I'm gonna jump over to Inkscape. Um, so what you're gonna to wanna to make sure is that uh, the version of Inkscape you have is um, 0 0.92 or above, because uh, there's, there's a bug with 0 0.91 and there's a step in this where it, the step doesn't always work. It's pretty frustrating. So uh, 0 0.92 seems to uh, be able to do this pretty well. So what you want to do, first of all, go extensions, render, uh, gear, and gear. And you can enter in the number of teeth and pitch you want. For this example, I'll just go with 40 teeth and pitch to 25. And just go apply, it'll give you your gear. So what you want to do, first of all, is go up here to your path edit tool, click on it. And then hover over your object and it'll turn red and just click on it and you'll get all these uh, grey dots and then once you have the grey dots click and drag over the whole thing and they'll all turn blue Then once they're blue go up here to break path that selected nodes just click it once and then once you do that it'll change colour a little bit and then go path break apart and it'll load for a minute and basically the gear was a, a joined path before now it's all separate paths so we can ed edit them individually so what you want to do is just go into one tooth. Sometimes you have to do a bit of clicking to get it to select the line. Sometimes it'll select the whole object again for whatever reason. So all we want is one tooth. So uh, one tooth is made of these lines, about five lines. So just hold down shift and click each of the lines that make the tooth. So there's one tooth. And what you want to do now is make a group out of them. So if you go object and group, I'll do that for you where you can press Control G so now what we want to do is flip that tooth so what you do is uh, click on the tooth and then click on it again and you get the rotation arrows so then hold down control because then when you hold down control and you rotate it it snaps to 15 degree increments so hold down control and start rotating and if you look down the very bottom of the screen there it says rotate and the angle so let's go till it says 180 degrees then let go all right so we're well on our way here so uh, what you want to do now is all we want is the tooth and the circle so you'll see why we need the circle in a little bit so the best way to just get rid of everything else is go control a hold down shift and uh, firstly click the circle to deselect the circle and then deselect your tooth you flipped then press delete all right so now we just have the tooth and the circle so what you want to do is select your tooth and go edit uh, clone create tall clone and you'll get this window that i already had open so the first tab you need to go to is symmetry make sure it says uh, simple translation the next thing you need to look at is these two boxes here the box on the left rows needs to always be one the box on the right is the number of teeth your gear had um, so just remember that from earlier on how many how many teeth you you entered in um, I'm not sure exactly why these numbers go where they do I'm just basing off basing all this off uh, a tile clone tutorial I saw on YouTube so uh, you put these numbers where they do to clone this thing in a circle basically um, right so always put one there number of teeth there go across to shift shift X put in minus 100 the rest of them just leave them alone scale don't need to touch it should look like that though 
Now the only other thing you need to change is angle. So per row leave it zero and then per column. The number you put in here is 360 divided by your number of teeth. So 360 divided by 40 is nine. So just put in nine there. Um, what else do we need to do here? Oh yeah, so the last step you need to do before we start cloning is go back to your tooth, um, click it twice and you'll get this little cross, you'll get the rotation arrows, but you also get this crosshair in the middle. Um, and what you wanna do is, all right, before we move the crosshair is go across to your snapping controls on the very right hand side of the screen. And you wanna turn off any other snapping. Uh, so basically the only snap we want is uh, this one right here, which is snapping items rotation center. So you can turn off this snap in here and just leave this one here on and it'll snap to the middle. Basically you wanna to snap to the middle of this circle we want the teeth to clone in a circle around where the center of our old gear was so now you can click and drag this crosshair and this is the step that doesn't work on Inkscape 0 0.91 so if you have 0.92 it should work um, so now you can just click create and that's it you get your your teeth all in a circle there you can see this one's a bit blacker and that's because it was cloned twice. So what you need to do is you can just delete, just click on it, click delete, and it'll click one. It'll delete one of them. Um, also, um, right now I'm in outline mode. I should have mentioned that at the start. If you go view, display mode, outline, you'll get the view I have now. This is what you you will be looking at. And the reason I don't like using this is because when you break apart the path, you get all these gaps between the lines because they're all separate lines. They're not joined together anymore. So it just looks a bit nicer if you go view, display mode, outline. I just prefer working with it like that. It's just in case you're wondering why it looks different. Um, so what else do we need to do here now? Right, so what we need to do is join up the bits in between the gears. So leave your tiled clone window the way it was. Leave it all the same. You want to go down to your uh, Bezier tool here. And you need to turn on some more snapping. So what you want to do is turn on this snapping menu enable thing and come down to snap cusp nodes and turn that on so that will just let you snap to the very end of these uh, lines here so just draw in one line all right so that's our one line um, and then press f1 to go back to your main select tool and uh, click your line click it again get the crosshair same thing again drag the crosshair to the middle of the circle and because you left the window open, even if you close the window, it still saves all your settings as far as I know. All your settings should be the same for cloning a thing in a circle. So just press create and it will fill that line in a circle. So you don't have to do it like a billion times. So we're pretty much done here. You'll see that line's a bit darker because it was cloned. When I cloned it, it went back on top of the original. Just click it, press delete. So we're pretty much done. The last thing to do is just draw a circle around the edge. So snap to the center, press control and shift to draw your circle out from the center. Oops. There you go. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. You can delete the circle now. And that's how you flip a gear in Inkscape. Mm. I wish there was an easier way to do it. Maybe I, I have a feeling there probably is an easier way of doing this. Um, if anyone out there knows, do let me know. But um, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. See ya.